Today we are learning how to multiply numbers using the distributive property. Let's say you wanted to figure out what 5 times in parentheses 3 plus 4 equaled. Well, you would probably start by putting together the 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 gives you 7. Then you could just multiply 5 times 7. When you do this, you get 35. So the answer to this problem is 35. But this is not the only way to solve this problem. If you had the same problem, you could also solve it using the distributive property. In the distributive property, we'll take the 5 and multiply it by both pieces of the parentheses independently. We'll start by just multiplying 5 times 3. Then we'll multiply the next piece, 5 times 4. We can first find that 5 times 3 is 15. Then we can add that 5 times 4 is 20. When you add together 15 plus 20, you get 35. The answer to this problem, again we find, is 35. So why would you ever want to use the distributive property? Well, using the distributive property is helpful if you're trying to solve a problem like 5 times 43. It would be pretty hard to figure out what this equals on your own. But we could rewrite this problem as 5 times, then split up 43 into 4 tens, or 40, plus 3 ones, or just 3. Now we can solve this using the distributive property. First, we can look at solving 5 times 40. Then we add in the other piece, 5 times 3. These are easier problems to solve. 5 times 40 is just 200. Then you could add in 5 times 3, which is 15. You could add together 200 plus 15 to get your answer of 215. Let's look at one of these together. Let's look to multiply 4 times 33 using the distributive property. Well, we'll start by rewriting our problem as 4 times, and then we'll split up 33. How should we split up 33? Well, we'll break it into two pieces. We'll think of 3 tens, which have a value of 30, plus 3 ones, which have a value of 3. Now, how could we write this using the distributive property? Well, we'll start by taking 4 and multiplying it by the 30. Then we'll take the 4 and multiply it by the 3. Now we can solve each of these pieces on our own. We'll start with 4 times 30. What does that equal? 4 times 30 gives you 120. Then we can add in 4 times 3. What does that equal? 4 times 3 gives you 12. When you add 120 plus 12, what do you get? You get 132. So 4 times 33 equals 132. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Multiply 5 times 73 using the distributive property. Well, first you need to rewrite your problem. 5 times, in parentheses, will split up 73 into 7 tens or 70, plus 3 ones, or 3. Then we can multiply 5 times 70 first. After, we'll multiply 5 times 3. 5 times 70 gives us 350. Then we'll add in 5 times 3, which gives us 15. When you add those two pieces together, you get an answer of 365. Here's your last one for today. Use the distributive property to figure out what 3 times 67 equals. Well, you could rewrite the problem as 3 times 6 tens, or 60, plus 7 ones, or 7. Then use the distributive property to first multiply 3 times 60, then multiply 3 times 7. 3 times 60 gives you 180, and 3 times 7 gives you 21. When you add 180 plus 21, you get 201. So 3 times 67 equals 201. So from today, remember, you can use the distributive property to make multiplication easier.